I was diagnosed with kidney failure in 2011. He was to the point where he was dying towards the end because dialysis stopped working for him completely. It was one of the most difficult things I've ever gone through. When my mother had a kidney failure, I was 15 years old. So she didn't think that she would be here to see me grow. I was born diabetic, so insulin dependent for 29 years, and that's why I needed a double transplant kidney pancreas. Before my transplant, I was in dialysis for, for nine years because it takes a long time in the waiting list. My dialysis treatments were at three in the morning for three hours, three times a week. I was having like up to seven insulin shots a day. Very, my, my purse, I remember, used to be a cooler with the insulin, the glucose meter and everything. You feel completely isolated. You feel alone. And I thought that my life was over. I thought that um, I had no more purpose in life. Knowledge is power. Learn about your disease. Learn about your condition. Learn about your own body. I try to be as healthy as possible and inspire others to be healthy too, to prevent this. When patients are on dialysis, they have no hope. And some of them don't know about transplantation as an option. I wanted to donate my kidney to him, but unfortunately, we were not a match. So when UCLA had contacted us saying that there is a way. A chain involving donors and recipients and that um, by me paying for it, donating my kidney to someone that my mother will receive a kidney in the chain. You know, the kidney exchange nowadays is probably the fastest way to get a kidney. I was not able to, to drink a whole glass of water for 29 years, and thanks to the transplant, I can down myself <laughs> with water, and it's like unbelievable. Before the, um, my transplant, my life, I was totally different. I don't have the same energy that I have now. My way the my physical works, um, it changed so much. I look in a life now. It was easier donating my kidney than it was giving birth to my three children, and that is the honest truth. I'm still here, healthy 100%. I just had a doctor's appointment, and everything is fine. If people are worried about their long-term health, I'm a living example standing here today that you are gonna be just fine. You don't know if in the future, you or anybody's gonna be needing a transplant. So don't close to, don't close yourself to get information about it, inform yourself. When Dr. Vio asked me, so do you wanna meet the person you got your kidney from? I was like, absolutely. And he just happened to be staying in the door, room next door to me in the hospital, but we had no idea. If I have the chance to meet my donor, I will say thank you so much for the gift of life that you have given me. I would say thank you very much to give me a part in your life and here in my body and give me the opportunity to be alive. And then so when Reggie walked over, I literally stood up out of my seat for the first time and we just I just started crying. And Reggie and I hugged and then my mother hugged him and you know he's like a brother now. When I donated my kidney, my mother now is still here. The father that I donated to He's here, his kids are able to see him grow. It's, it's just a phenomenal feeling. And there's an unspoken bond yeah. between. I have Reggie right here, so he's not going anywhere. Find out what it is that makes you want to get up in the morning and what makes you feel satisfied at the end of the day. And the disease becomes secondary. You need to understand that you are not alone. If you only knew how many people were undergoing kidney failure and don't even know it, you would be shocked. It became a new beginning for me, and I'm so thankful for that. So I thought my life was over. It was just starting.